Dead Rising 2 occurs five years after Dead Rising 1. It is a continuation of the universe of Dead Rising. The outbreak that occurred at Willamette Mall in Dead Rising 1, that story has continued. The zombie virus is still in America. The, the problem of zombies is still in America. And Fortune City represents the largest outbreak since the events of the past. My name's Chuck. Our main hero is Chuck Green. You know, he's an ex-motocross uh, champ, he lost his wife in an outbreak, and he just has his daughter who's infected in a world filled with zombies. And there's this drug called Zombrex, and that's used to sort of keep the disease at bay. Zombrex is incredibly expensive, so there he is, competing in this, you know, controversial game show called Terror's Reality. That's where he can, you know, get enough cash to uh, pay for some Zombrex and keep his daughter alive. Katie, it's me, it's Daddy. He wins a little bit of money, and then he goes off to buy his daughter Zombrex, and then there's a zombie outbreak in the arena. He escapes with his daughter to the safe house, which is this government shelter. The shelter gets locked down for three days until the military comes to rescue them. Well, Chuck has to get out because he's got a daughter who needs this drug. Like, if she doesn't get it in a certain amount of time, she's gonna be turning into a zombie. So he has to go out into the world and try and find some Zombrex. And when he gets back, they see a newscast that says that it wasn't an accident, the zombie outbreak, and he's the one who started it. Look, I don't know what the hell is going on here, but I'm being set up. Basically, I started with creating the story on my end. And once I had a, a basic framework of what it should be, I passed it over to Blue Castle. They rewrote some of it, and they passed it back. And then we rewrote some of it and passed it back. It's a very reiterative process. But playing this catch ball, so to speak, going back and forth, back and forth, ultimately led to the highest quality version of the story. You know, the story and the context are usually in, uh, in contrast. The story is incredibly serious. It's really important for us that the character and the motivations are very serious because that contrast is needed for a lot of things the players can bring into them and a lot of things they get from the world. So you can imagine this really serious context and then they're in this world, it's just, it's ridiculous. You know, it's like Vegas on steroids. And then the player can then, they can mess with those, those cinematics too. You know, they can come in there and they can wear whatever goofy outfits they want. And that adds that, that you know, one of the key pillars of Dead Rising is that, that dark humor. You, you're Chuck Green. Dead Rising is a game about America. It's made, it was made in Japan, developed in Japan, but it's about America. It's about American culture. You can see the kind of like love and satire and parody and strange respect for American culture. We're just upping that. It's a zombie game, but it's also this kind of like deep embedded satire of American culture. Now what makes it fun is, honestly, is playing it. We get a lot of folks uh, playing our game a lot in the office. We don't spend a lot of time talking about how cool it's going to be. We're going to make it cool and we're just going to like hold ourselves to it. We're having the whole team come together and collaborate, that's just incredible. You know, everyone's focused on one thing together and they go off and do it and they come back and they're just like super energized and it's a lot of fun. God bless America! Woo!